Bogues or Hesse in the cabin. How's it going? I hope you're doing lots of twanging, as I am today, in the cabin with my Manson modded court, which you may have seen in a previous video or two, to which I'll get around to doing a proper review of this one. I'm having lots of fun enjoying myself immensely. But what I thought I'd talk about today is something that isn't always mentioned when you look at guitar reviews and something that I really need to bring to your attention, which is what this came wrapped up in, which is the awesome Manson Guitars gig bag. Here we have a sparkly court. Here we have Apollo the cat. Extreme cat close up. And here we have the Manson gig bag, which is a thing of beauty. This thing's amazing. It came with the guitar as part of the deal. Thank you very much, mansonguitarworks.co.uk. And um, this thing's awesome. So it has kind of this, I'm not sure you can see, kind of silky feel to it, which I'm hoping uh, will repel some water. I'm not talking about taking your guitar into the shower, folks but hopefully a few drops of rain if you're walking with this one, and it should fend that off. Um, it's not obviously solid like a hard case, but it's really thick with padding. On their website, they don't specify an exact thickness, but just for my rough measurements, my upside down tape measure is going by, there we go, you can see. <laughs> I know it's probably a bit hard to see, it's rather dark in the bag, but it's roughly, uh, an inch thick I should say from the outside to where the padding ends inside here it feels about an inch thick and the same on the, the front as well so we have a lovely plush bag here let's get this boy out there we go a bit of light nice and squishy we have these cool little straps to uh, attach your guitar in safely back to the front we have one big couch here let's have a look in here okay keep what you need in there move to the back now important bit we've got these big chunky shoulder straps and if you look on the back it's a bit like on a backpack so we've got this webbing here and uh, there's padding there to keep you comfortable and here's a really cool feature here is his little pocket if you open that what slides within <laughs> It's a big hook, <laughs> so you can hang your guitar up. But obviously that's kind of a pro feature there where you're more likely to hang something up, get it off the floor if you've got lots of guitars. So that's really handy, I can certainly make use of that. So that is the bag as it looks. Now that all said, I've got a rehearsal tonight. So instead of driving down, I'm gonna walk down, do your bit for the planet. And I'm gonna test out the gig bag and let's see how comfortable it is. Hello, right, so we're on our way to rehearsal. It's about a 30 minute walk. I've got my raincoat on, because it's been raining today. Some tree branches there. But because the gig bag is so awesome, my guitar is protected. Uh, it's feeling comfortable so far. Nice wide straps, which I didn't mention earlier, though it's sort of quite wide, feeling nice and cushioned. So it started off well so far. Righty-o, we're halfway there. And so far, everything going to plan, all comfortable. Um, certainly what I'm not getting is when on cheaper straps, you get uh, that dig into your shoulders. So it really digs in, causes some pain and discomfort. Not getting that. I'm not getting that feeling where it feels like your guitar is pulling you back either. So, I'm most pleased with that, everything's very comfortable. Also, because they don't have those sliding bits that some bags do, everything is staying in one position. Um, it's not like if you, if you know what I'm talking about, you sort of get in position on your shoulder and then you walk and then it kind of starts to drop down, drop backwards, because it's all one piece, there's none of that. Um, so really chuffed so far. And there we are, we have arrived. 30 minutes later, everything feels good, no pains, nothing sore, all comfortable, ready to rock. Hello folks, so it's the next day, no pain across here, no soreness, so good job. I'm really pleased with the gig bag, it's very good, very comfortable, it was a pleasure carrying my guitar last night. A few things I forgot to mention on the gig bag is we do have a handle here, okay, just above the straps, and there's also 
another little pouch down here at the back, okay, which potentially we could use to undo these at the bottom, tuck it in there if we're gonna hang the bag up, or if you just wanna put something small in there, a book or a cable, quite possibly. Now, this isn't a hard case versus gig bag video. Uh, I'm just taking the gig bag on its merits and to use a gig bag. I walk around a lot because uh, I enjoy walking, and so I've always got a gig bag on my back. And I must say, it's a pleasure using this one. There aren't many products I can 100% endorse and say, this is awesome, you should go get one. Sometimes there's pros and cons with things, not with this. This bag is truly amazing. Um, the padding on it, comfortable handles, is really good. As good as a gig bag can be. <laughs> as much pleasure as a gig bag can bring. Um, it's not a budget gig bag. But that said, the prices they've got them on, they're really good, I would say, to what I would think in my head as being a posh, higher-end gig bag. The price is a lot lower than that price I had in my head. Uh, these are on their website currently for £45, which roughly in dollars is $55. And they do this for electric guitar. It can fit a Fender. And it can take a Les Paul. And they do it for bases as well and they're both at the same price so what i'm going to do down below i'm going to pop in some links uh, links to the manson guitar works website and a direct link which takes you to the gig bag part again really pleased 100 percent can recommend these bags are really good i'm going to show this to my pupils everyone i know all my guitarist friends and say so you should really check these bags out